geographic, they said by what, 2050, 2030, what was it, 2030, 2050, everyone's going to be of color, right? So now we're on a survival, uh, we're on a time of survival. Everyone's trying to survive genetically. So that's why they're producing interracial media, interracial propaganda. At a certain time, this was so taboo. Now, in 2019, it is not taboo. Everybody wants to do it. No, I mean, some people have to do it because if they don't do it, by way of nature, they will be extinct. Racism was to kill the confidence of the melanated people after the assimilation. There was actual scientists creating systems of eugenics, right, to take away from the confidence, trying to use scientific, scientific me methods to prove that melanated people are not dominant. At this time in reality, we know that the people of color, we are the most dominant, and also everybody on the planet comes from us. So this is what we're going on. That's what that whole sexual rebirth project was about. Now we have another period of super-induced uh, interracial promotion via the media. Like I said, we have every movie, almost every movie, is projecting a black woman with a Caucasian male, or the vice versa. And like I said, I'm not against this. Right, because nature's gonna play its course. But we have to understand what's going on. Everything is happening. In National Geographic, they said by, what, 2050, 2030, what was it, 2030, 2050, everyone's gonna be of color, right? So now, we're on a survival, uh, we're on a sur sur time of survival. Everyone's trying to survive genetically. So that's why they're producing interracial media, interracial propaganda. At a certain time, this was so taboo. Now, in 2019, it is not taboo. Everybody wants to do it. No, I mean, some people have to do it because if they don't do it, by way of nature, they will be extinct. Oh, we found the fountain of youth taking blood from teenagers or taking blood from kids. Mm. Oh. Before I go, let me, put, let me add a little bit to the bill. Before they talk about, actually, before they actually came out really blunt about drinking blood, or they say in the form of blood transfusion, but we know via Masonic rituals that they drink blood. But now they even use the stem cells from baby to grow their, their organs, to grow organs back, to reverse diseases, right? And it's not legal in some places, but now a lot of rich people, a lot of rich people, they use stem cells from babies to literally reverse the disease. What are stem cells? Stem cells are taken from the bone marrow. What grows in the bone marrow? Blood grows in the bone marrow. Boom. Oh. Oh. So, some of the purest forms of ether, it grows in your bone. Once again, one of the purest forms of ether grows in your bones. What is blood? Blood is ether. Blood is liquid ether. Blood is the life flow. Remember, ether is what grew the universe. Now, blood is liquid ether. Now, your blood can be dirty. Your blood can be sick. Your blood cannot be clean by way of what you eat. If you eat and drink soda, chips, MSG, corn syrup, all that crazy shit, your blood is infected. Actually, if you're eating meat, if you're eating dead animals, your blood is infected. So now, in order to get the pure form of ether, they bypass the liquid blood going into the bone marrow to get the stem cells in your bone marrow to reverse their disease, to extend their life. Aha! Boom! I broke the code. I broke the code, baby. Ain't nobody talking about this. They have to go into the bone to get the purest form of what we call ether, of blood. So we're talking about vampires reinventing ways to get pure ether. We're talking about three ether beans. We're talking about three, four, five ether beans, dead beans, Caucasian or Caucasodians or Caucasus people that needs life vibrating on three and four ether, going and tapping into the nine ether inside your bone, what we call stem cells. Hello, I'm here to vampire blood.
blood was just on that. Jonathan tells me about this blood facial, and I love trying anything that makes you look and feel youthful. Basically, you draw your blood. That's a big needle. Then spin it in a machine to get just the platelets out, and then put the blood all over your face. So we're talking about vampires reinventing ways to get pure ether. We're talking about three ether beans. We're talking about three, four, five ether beans, that beans, Caucasian or Caucasodians or Caucasus people that needs life vibrating on three and four ether, going tapping into the nine ether inside your bone, what we call stem cells. Ooh. 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 Ooh.